Hi, this is Clarence from the Asian Tech Guy again. So today I'm going to try something It's not that new in Singapore, but it's the first time for me. It's Blue SG. So basically you go to the app, you register for membership, which first month is free. And then uh, you reserve the car. It's valid for 30 minutes and you're going to get there. And basically it's charged per minute at 33 cents. It's an electric car, so there's specific points that you can go and park it. So from there, uh, you just pay what you use. It's kind of convenient, so I'm going to see how it goes. So right now, as you can see here, I'm on a bicycle. I'm literally going to do like a park and ride. So let's go, POV mode on. Okay, next time I think I'm gonna strap down my back harder to prevent the wobble and have more stable footage. <laughs> Alright, found it 436. Just need to find a place to park the bike. There's a lot of spots here to park, so not to worry. I just worry about finding the blue SG fast enough. Alright, see the bicycle park right here. And here we are. Time to park our bike. Since we've parked our bike, Time to find the blue SG. It's not too hard to find. It's really very noticeable. So let's switch the camera around. I've already noticed it from a distance. I'm sorry for the very washed out background. It's on ISO Auto, so I don't know what the hell this action camera is doing. But here it is. Looking good. So now I just gotta find a way to unlock this shit. So it seems I need to somehow pair my phone with this guy. Mm, right here, I'm here. Rent. Start from the station. Okay. Let's see. So I tap my card here. Right here. Alright, enter my card pairing code. I think I should have the card pairing code right here. Gotta find it. But time is running out guys. I'm sorry, I should get a ND filter sometime soon. Ah, I see. Okay, I have the pairing code now. So I'm going to do that again. And enter the damn code. 600283. Alright. So now it says the request has been processed. And my pin is... Oh, uh, what the fuck is my pin? I don't remember what's my pin, man. God damn it. I gotta contact the company. Fucking hell. So guys, I kind of fucked up. I got there late. Didn't manage to unlock the thing in time and somebody took the bike. So I'm gonna hit somewhere nearby in five minutes to get it. God damn it, that's on me. Oh, God damn it, it's tiring. Welcome Avenue 4 Damn, it's getting lit So I'm gonna take some shortcut here if you follow the map strictly It's gonna take a long time The thing is that later I gotta remember to come here to get my bicycle So that's near where Alcum Green is. So we're gonna cut in the cut in the park connector. Makes for some easier riding. Oh, 
what a journey. Oh, damn. It seems like whenever you reserve and don't turn up, they charge you a surcharge the next time. The first time I reserved, it was free, but I see now that if I were to book again, it cost me $1. So be it, I fucked up. Boom. We're good to go. Okay. Oh my god! This is scary. This freaking cat. It's got a living shit off me. Alright, you see it? I think blue ash tree is around here. That's 688, alright. I don't see the blue car anywhere though. Alright, let's head down here. We got our car park and we should be good to go. Damn it. Just trying to find it. Okay, we'll park the bike first. Uh, okay. Just park it. Lock it to itself. We had press for time here. Just gonna take a screenshot of where I parked this. Right here. Says only a nine minute left on this stuff, this guy. So show on the map. Should be just right here. I don't see it nowhere. Behind maybe? Seems like it's behind. Okay. Right behind here. This funeral guys, you don't want to walk through that. There it is! Fucking blue car. Let's do it. So I'm gonna repeat that process again. Damn, this is incorrect. Pin again. Damn, we're gonna do it again. Fucking damn it. It's like six. Fuck, I gotta reset the pin again. It's just deja vu, man. Reset the pin again. Hopefully, this bloody pin works now. Don't know what's wrong with it. Alright, I hold a valid license. I'm not under the alcohol for now. Not any drugs. Confirm. I'm sorry, the screen is very reflective, guys. Alright, so first one says tap, unplug, and plug it back. So it's from this side. See where's the tap point? Oh, the tap point is here. Tap. Alright, it's unlocked. So now, what we need to do. All right, so open this door right here. Ugh. All right, oh, it's tough nut to unplug, man. Let me just plug this guy back in, just like that. And we're good to go. Okay, so let's check out the bullet. Right here. Okay, plenty good enough for stroller. It's not that big, but it should be fine. I can put it standing up. The driver seat. That's very far forward. I'm sure a lady went by here. So I'm gonna put it backwards. Just gonna get the aircon. Stop the screen. Driving requires full attention. Fine. 
Uh, to be honest guys, it's not that clean because there's a lot of debris on the floor. So read it in terms of fair. Fair. Guys, just give me the aircon. Welcome to your blue car. Okay. The next time you use a blue car, this information message will be optional. Okay. Yes, I want the freaking aircon. AC. Close so the door. Maybe I better turn on the engine first. Alright. Left signal. Right, left. Okay. Brake. Drive. It's a very simple stick. Right here, very old school. But should be good to go. Alright, guys. We should be fine now. Nearest point to return the car is about 1.8 meters away. But damn it, I'm a little bit too slow. There was a slot earlier on, but somehow it got taken for some reason. Should have done it faster. Freaking hell. This guy right here, the charging station, and it says that what I need to do from a UI on my dashboard, it says to plug this guy back. So I'm gonna pull this guy out, uh, take this out first from charging station, open this guy, uh, one handed operation again, plug this guy in. Alright, that's it and then tap the cut on the charging point okay let's make them cut cuts here tap it all right connect the vehicle cable on the left uh okay all right connect the cable cable for choice you see if that works Alright, says Maranto has ended. God knows why I have to do this, but whatever it works. That's how you do a blue car rental. Now I'm gonna walk and find my wife and my son. It's a pretty fun experience, but I think I wasted some money in there with the delays. I got freaking out uh, how to unlock the, the thing and find a charging station. And probably the next time I can be more of. Uh, observant of where to go to that sort of stuff so it's not to waste time and money because time is money as well as you guys saw early on I went to the first place and I actually ran out of time and the car got booked by someone else and I had to go to the second point it's kind of annoying in my books but yes it's fun actually driving your own car as, as compared to doing a grab and of course you can get to weird places uh, you know wherever you want but some grab drivers might not want to fetch you to but the bad thing is that you have to find a charging point to return your your car to otherwise you incur the running cost if you don't park it to the correct slot yeah, and sometimes there was a closer parking lot earlier on but it got taken before i could get there and it looks like you can reserve parking lot half an hour in advance so next time I know I'm gonna reach there soon. I'm gonna reverse uh, reserve the parking lot as well, which definitely will work better. So 
in that way you are you have been definite you know that that lot can be used so my rental this time is for one hour and three minutes it costed twenty dollars and seventy nine cents it's a little costly but still to my fault I took too much time bringing things out and also inability to find the parking lot as well as I mentioned all right hopefully I do better next time as well it's good man it's a good experience and bite the bullet for my mistakes so guys just to recap some bonus tips first time using definitely have your pairing code ready on hand and secondly remember your pin code don't be like me I fucked up and got to reset it again and I exceeded the time limit and got my car booked by someone else and thirdly if you can maybe 20 minutes out from uh, where you know you're gonna park the car you can book a parking lot in advance this way you'll be ensured that you get the, the closest one and don't have to waste too much time driving there and walking to your destination again so yep those are the three golden tips and yeah so there goes my first experience using the blue car sg at this point i you know i would say that on an overall i would recommend it it's really fun to use and it's not too hard and it's relatively inexpensive so see you guys on next episode or rather next video on asian tech guy if you like my video just give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you didn't feel free to leave any comments and I'll answer them if I know how to see you next time see you guys so we even have a wild boar around here these guys are real huge and they can be quite violent if they see you put I realized the previous video was too dark it was too dark and I didn't crank up the ISO setting although ISO failed me so now I've parked again and we're doing the part of the video first thing first you step on the brake turn off the car engine then you get up so you come right here you tap your cut on the machine so it will say first thing unplug plug and then tap on the car so unplug that's easy just get this guy out bring this right over to the left side right side of the car open that cover then plug this receptacle in just like that easy and then hit to the front of the car there's this blue flashing light here you just type your easy card somewhere there the car is locked and you go over to the station it says rental has ended thank you for using our service that's all folks <laughs>